Welcome to the game overview of Con Artist. First off, I'd like to play a little game with you. So, what do the following constellations represent? How did you do? Perhaps a past knowledge of zodiacs or constellations help you to do well, but without any outside knowledge, it would be quite easy to mistake each constellation for any of the provided answers. This fiddly nature of constellations are, in my opinion, their most interesting aspect. They can be both highly restrictive and potentially limitless, widely interpreted and broadly designed. It is within the astronomer's imagination that a handful of blips in the sky can mean a huge variety of things. This leads us to the premise of Con Artist. Con Artist is a party style game that captures the fiddly nature of constellations and enables memorable moments, heated debates, and genuine laughs. The game's title, Con Artist, contains a double meaning of constellation artist and its definition of a person who cheats or tricks others by persuading them to believe something that is not true. Each round, one player becomes the head astronomer who selects a topic and writes this topic down on separate cards. The catch is that one card will not have the topic written on it. It will instead say, Con Artist. The head astronomer will also illustrate a constellation that is related to the topic on a single star card and display it face up for all players to see. Finally, the chief astronomer will shuffle the Con Artist card with the topic cards and pass them out so each player receives a secret card and knows the exact topic except for the con artist, who only has the head astronomer's constellation to interpret. Next, all players, except the head astronomer, must draw a constellation related to the topic. Constellations are drawn on star cards by connecting any of the stars in straight lines. Once everyone has created their constellation, they simultaneously display their drawings face up in front of them. The head astronomer announces to all players, for the con artist's benefit, what the topic was. And now, with every player's constellation on display, the group must discuss and determine which constellation they suspect to be the con artist. Because the con artist now knows what the topic was, they must scramble to provide a believable excuse for what their constellation is and how it relates to the topic. Amid the discussion, a clever con artist will deflect attention away from their own constellation and direct suspicion toward other players. During this discussion phase, players may place their vote tokens beside the constellations they personally deem most deserving. The con artist vote token should be given to the player who seems most suspicious of being the con artist. Players may shift their individual tokens from one card to another as they hear the arguments and explanations of others. Players will also vote for which constellation they feel to be the best of show. After the votes are cast and the discussion is over, the con artist reveals him or herself in an epic climax. Only players who correctly vote the con artist receive a point. The player who gets the most best of show votes will also receive one point. Additionally, if the con artist does not get the most votes, then both the head astronomer and the con artist receive two points each. Because the head astronomer and con artist are on the same team, it is in the head astronomer's best interest to select a topic and draw a constellation that the con artist can correctly interpret. The role of head astronomer rotates each round and the first players to reach five points win the game. The novelty of con artist lies in the player's interpretation and drawing of constellations. The game strikes a balance between abstract symbols and specific topics. One of my favorite aspects of the game is when the con artist completely misinterprets the head astronomer's constellation, draws a constellation related to this incorrect topic, and then convinces the entire group that their drawing is something else entirely that actually relates to the real topic. We can't wait for you to experience this yourselves, so give it a shot and chart your victory across a canvas of stars in this game of deceptive illustration.